so Modern Warfare has been out for roughly a month now, and I have to say, the lobbies are not getting easier. I'm not really getting used to the game, and it just, I might have to do a skill-based matchmaking, or it might not. I did some tests, and I'm going to tell you guys, I'm pretty sure, I'm 100% convinced, skill-based matchmaking is in the game, and that's from the testing alone that I've done, and there's other people who have done it as well, but in this video, I have 10 tips that are going to help you guys get better, die less, get more kills, and do what you got to do in order to win those gunfights. So, this is kind of like the first video that I made on this exact same topic where I gave you guys 10 tips and this one is part two technically where I give you guys 10 completely new tips in order to follow and this these ones I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys I think these tips are a lot better than the first videos and the reason for that is because these are a lot more tactical these I'm gonna show you guys a lot more things that you should be doing and stuff like that so we're gonna get into it but before we do if you guys could drop a huge like on this it shows me that you guys enjoy these types of videos and I'll definitely make more of them and guys subscribe to the channel if you're new around here with those notifications turned on the more you guys do it the happier I get the more videos I push out so let's get into it at the number 10 spot and quickly before we do if you guys have any tips any tips you think are good to share with people put it down in the comments below I want a lot of you guys to write your best tip what you think is the best tip even if it's on this video down in the comments below and share tips with each other read the comments guys and figure out how to play this game better just figuring out how other people play so going to number 10 we have moving and maneuvering and this one is pretty smart this one is one that you got to be doing so we're gonna use the map shoot house for example and we're gonna use the game of domination so you're playing shoot house you run to the right side of the map you get a few kills you don't stay there that's the one thing you don't want to do and you don't push fo more forward the more you push forward the more enemies are going to come at you at a faster pace and the more spawns you're going to be flipping so make sure that you guys get a few kills then revert back to your spawn area and then go from there to the other side of the map get a few more kills and then go back to the side you were at the reason you want to do this is to let the enemies know that you're not going to be staying in the same spot over and over again so that they don't all rush you and drop you at the same time the more you move around like that it might sound a little campy to stay in one spot but it's not you're literally holding off a position and then moving so go ahead and do that going to the number nine tip on the list guys this is holding off power positions but don't actually go into them so again the same map shoot house for an example on this one up in the building in the offices that is a great great power point you could actually hold off many parts of the map you could hold right in front which is the left side you could hold the middle of the map and you could hold off the right side of the map just looking out those windows you could hold off a lot of things so a lot of people are going to be trying to go there you yourself should never go into that power position but you should be killing enemies trying to get in there from the staircases and stuff like that make sure you drop everybody off who's trying to get into that but don't go in yourself because if you do there's gonna be a lot of people trying to get you out of there they're gonna be throwing c4s grenades popping open on both sides of the doors and stuff don't do that another one i want to talk about quickly this is similar to a tip i gave you within the last video and that is sensitivity guys sensitivity is 100 percent key to victories in this game and the reason i want to talk about this one again is because in the last video i did mention that you should play between an 8 and a 12 sensitivity or something like that but you should definitely be playing on what you're comfortable with and this goes more for console players if you're playing on something around a four or a five it might be too slow to turn on that corner camper or something like that if he starts shooting at you and you don't see him you're completely turned around by the time you turn around to shoot at this guy chances are you're already going to be dead halfway through turning on him and if your sensitivity is too high then your accuracy gets really screwed up but i made a whole entire video on accuracy and gunfights and how to win more gunfights and stuff like that and you guys could check it out at the end of the video i'll link it at the end of this one so just once you guys finish watching this video hit that one and that one gives you great tips on how to win gunfights how to aim properly and how to make sure you get the kills before the enemy does but let's move on to another tip on the list and that is if you guys are caught in a gunfight where you have to reload there's no more bullets left in your magazines don't try to reload your weapons and don't try to run away what you should be doing in a position like that in a situation like that is switching to your pistol it's unbelievable how much faster it is to switch to your pistol than it is to reload your weapon and a lot of people make the mistake of trying to reload their weapon but then the enemy ends up ending them off and stuff like that so make sure you guys switch to that pistol it's a lot faster and it probably will only take one or two bullets to kill the guy if you already weakened him and he'll be trying to reload if he runs out of bullets you'll switch to your pistol you'll get him out super fast going down to another one guys this is something that a lot of people do and it's a huge mistake this is something you don't want to do and that is sprinting around corners you never want 
to sprint around a corner. This is probably one of the most important tips I could give you. A lot of people just run around the corner, not expecting enemies to be anywhere, but there's always an enemy waiting for someone. So don't sprint around those corners. Take your time. Play it super slow if you have to. Lean the corner, peek the corner, and stuff like that. Try to get a sense of where the enemies are. And guys, if you peek a corner and someone says you're camping, uh, they're, they're full of you know what. <laughs> you're not camping. You're not doing anything. You're playing smarter than they are and let them call you what they want to call you. You're not a camper for doing that. You're playing smarter than they are. Going down to another tip is avoiding certain gunfights. And this one, I'm going to give you a great example. So let's say you're like me. You're an SMG player. You love using SMGs in the game. And you get spotted from all the way across the map. If there's someone all the way across the map who spots you. He's probably staying in that position to pick off people running through there. There's no way you're going to beat him if he's using an LMG, a sniper, or an AR, and he has perfect accuracy. There's no way you're winning it with your SMG at that range. So don't even engage in that gunfight. Don't even try to stay in that gunfight. Completely avoid it if you can. If you can run away from it, run away from it. He won't make it to you by the time that he decides to run after you. And even if he does run after you, he's using a gun that's made for distance. So you could drop him with that SMG the closer he gets. So trust me, guys. If you could avoid certain gunfights that you know you're going to lose, that you know there's a 40% chance that you'll win or a 30% chance you'll win, get away from those. They're just not worth the death at the end of the day, especially if you're trying to kill, get kill streaks and stuff like that. Now, another one is a super important one as well, and this is one that a lot of new players don't really understand. They don't really grasp how to do this, but you should be leading your crosshair. Your crosshair is those four little bars in the center of your screen. That tells you exactly where your gun is going to aim in. So when you see an enemy, before you even aim down sights, your crosshairs should be going over his body. So by the time you actually aim down sights, you'll be able to take him out really damn fast. So lead those crosshairs, guys. Super important. Now another one, this one I gotta say all the time, because this is one that I do all the time as well. And do not seek revenge guys do not ever ever seek revenge within this game if you go after someone because he killed you a few times you're just going to keep dying over and over again you're going to be angry he's going to be waiting for you to come back in a different spot or something like that you're not going to be focusing on the gunfight you're just going to be focusing on trying to kill him and revenge it's a natural thing everybody wants to do it but don't do it it's kind of hard to stop doing i have to admit i do it myself a lot but if you guys could stop doing that if an enemy kills you whatever let him kill you move on go to the other side of the map try to get people there and and stuff like that trust me revenge is definitely not worth it now a super simple tip guys drop shotting in this game is 100 key jump shotting does help a little bit but when you drop shot in this game it screws up i don't know what it does but the hitboxes get screwed up and uh, you end up winning most gunfights when you drop shots compared to when you're just standing still or moving left to right so if you guys could practice drop shotting that's when you actually lie down while you're firing your weapon at the enemy do that practice that and trust me you will win a lot more gunfights now, i don't want to really give this tip out i'll be honest with you because everyone's going to be doing it against me i have a feeling about that but drop shotting guys practice the hell out of it it's worth it it's kind of like i don't know it, it don't jump shot anymore i mean i do it because it's it's natural for me to do but it's just it's not worth it when drop shotting is definitely a lot better now the last tip that i want to move on guys is be aware of where your teammates are there's a mini map in this game even though there's no red dots when people are shooting and stuff it is still in the game and it is still very important so be aware of where all your teammates are if you're alone on one side of the map and all your teammates are on the other side of the map but you don't see any people getting kills or anybody dying within the kill feed there's a high chance that the enemies are all around you and the reason for that is because if your teammates aren't getting kills and they're all together and the enemies aren't getting kills and they're not on the side where your teammates are they're they're 100 near you so be aware of that try to maybe pick off one or two of them but that once you do that just know the rest of them know where you're at so try to get around your teammates if you have never ever be alone on the map because once you kill one person two more are going to be running right after you and in my honest opinion that is not worth it now guys like i said at the beginning of this video if you guys could drop a like that would be absolutely amazing i will be linking the video for accuracy and stuff like that at the end of this one so just stick around for that if you guys want to watch how to get your accuracy better how to win more gunfights and all that kind of stuff and it kind of goes with these tips as well if you follow all those tips together you'll be doing really damn good and if you guys could leave a comment down below letting me know your favorite tip or your best tip in the entire game let everybody know down
down in the comments below. That would be cool as well. Subscribe to the channel with those notifications turned on, guys. We are so close to 500k. We're getting like literally closer every day, and it's it's getting insane. I'm getting hyped, so yeah, you guys know how it is. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. My name is Nick, and I'll catch you in the next one. You want to say peace? Chris wants to say peace.